Bombshell new video obtained by a Freedom of Information Act showing the lengths the Biden administration is taking to allow thousands of illegal immigrants into our country. Body cam video taken by a police sergeant in Westchester, New York last August showing dozens of migrants arriving on secret flights at New York's Westchester County Airport under the cover of darkness, something a Department of Homeland Security contractor is done is for very specific reasons. This is what he said. You don't want to be somewhere where the spotlight is. Yeah. You want to try to keep it as, as down low as possible. A lot of this is just no. I, I get it. I just like you said. Stuff that we don't tell people because what we don't want to do is attract attention. We don't want the media. Yeah. Like we don't even know where we're going when they tell us. Joining us now is the man who obtained that video, former county executive of Westchester County, New York, uh, Rob Astorino. It's great to have you, sir. Uh, you, so you had an idea of what might be on the video, but when you saw it, what did you think? Uh, blown away, but it just confirmed everything, Dana, that I had known because I broke this actually August 13th. I had been told and heard all these flights coming in late at night. And as the previous county executive, I know there was a curfew at midnight, midnight to 6 a.m. at Westchester County Airport. And these flights were coming in very late, like 2, 3 in the morning, and hundreds of hundreds of unaccompanied children and adult males were getting off these planes. Now, when we questioned them, of course, the federal government, the county, and the state, what do you think happened? They called us a racist, they called us mean, blah, 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 but they wouldn't answer the question. In fact, they deflected and they absolutely lied. They said the kids and, and these adults were not going into the communities. They are. We actually have video where they were put on buses, sent to a Costco in Fort Chester right near the airport, and the adult males were just led into cars and they go. We have no idea who they are. We have no idea about their backgrounds or where they're going. There's a second thing in that black box, an unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017, we'll be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength.